What's up folks, this is Jasper Fox making yet another YouTube video and uh, this video will... Oh, right. Okay, anyways, this video will be discussing some things that I saw on the internet again. Um, one of them in particular involved a social experiment. There's lots of these, I know. Um, essentially, this guy just walked around the city, a city, not sure which, and uh, he did it once dressed as a normal person, like clothes like I'm wearing. But the second time he wore Muslim garb, and the reactions were, honestly, they were a little bit ridiculous. Now this may just be, I know people might be saying this may just be like saying this is just me or not you'll think what you will personally I don't think it's a big deal if I saw someone wearing a Muslim garb or something like that walking around the city that I live in I don't find that an issue now if there were other things going on in the circumstance like say he was uh... <clears throat> but we all know why um, in the United States, we all know why this is in it, like, why some people find this unsavory. Because 9-11, Taliban, ISIS, shit like that. Now, some of the reactions were ridiculous. Like I said before, they called the person numerous things, terrorists being one of them, Osama's, like Osama bin Laden being another. I mean, honestly, let's grow up for a bit. I mean, I know this, what I'm saying would be a popular opinion, but seriously, wait, seriously. You have to think about the situation. There's a lot of things that differ him from Osama, not to mention Muslim, like not all of Muslims, not every Muslim is a terrorist. Not every person who worships Islam is a terrorist. No. I mean, there are a lot of ways I can take this negatively. But, well, I can, like, I, there's a lot, I bet there's a lot of ways I can make this conversation go and no one would like it. So, simply put, I'll just say this. It doesn't make sense to say all people who were, I mean, sure, we can say that all, um, <clears throat> ISIS folks, anyone who, like all those terrorists, those terrorists, are Muslim, because I haven't found any evidence otherwise, I can't dispute that. But it's not fair to say the other way around. You can't say all Muslims are terrorists, because that's not true. There's Muslim everywhere. It's like saying, I don't know how to put this. Um, well, not sure how to put this. Okay, here's another, here's another way. Um, granted, we did the same, like, granted, people did the same thing years ago with the Nazis. A lot of people, I mean, associated, most people said all Nazis are German. Most of them are. There were some Austrians and some other shit. But, uh, that's not fair to say all Germans and Austrians are Nazis. That's not, that's all correct. Because there are many different circumstances, and uh, there are many different things, you know. Because, you know, what I'm saying now sounds stupid, but what I'm saying about that sounds stupid as well. And I know not a lot of people will agree with me, but honestly, we need to stop generalizing. We can't judge a book by its cover, because what would that make us? It wouldn't get us anywhere. And most people don't care about what other people think about them. Good for you. You don't need to see this video. But, uh, those of you who do care about what other people think about them, do you honestly want to be remembered as the person who just generalizes everything for what? I don't know that there's a comedian that said this kind of thing. Like, one bad apple doesn't spoil the bunch. And, uh, with this kind of thing, it's true. Because, just because, 
again, just because we say that all ISIS terrorists or anyone who's associated with Osama bin Laden are Muslims, that's not fair to say the other way around. That's one group. We can't judge every person, every being, for one person's actions. Because it's ridiculous. I'm going to move on because I'm running out of things to say. Um, another thing is... Uh, uh, here's another thing I saw on the internet. This one person, um, he pulled a shark out of the ocean just to take a selfie. Let that sink in for a second. How does that feel? Does it feel right? Well, because it's not. Honestly. Seriously, you need to use your brains for a second. Because you can't just pull a shark out of the ocean just to take a selfie. That's moronic. Not to mention they can kill the shark, and just to do that is a very stupid reason. If you want to take a selfie with a shark, <laughs> why don't you just dive into the ocean and take a selfie with the shark? Most people would say, because you can, the shark will eat you. Right. That's why you shouldn't do it. You shouldn't take a sh selfie with a shark either way, because one of you two will die. Whether it's the person taking the selfie, or the shark in the selfie. Because the only other two solutions are that you either get in the ocean, like, one of you two enters the other's territory. And, uh, you know, my advice, don't. Don't do it, don't waste your time, don't waste the photo, don't kill the shark, and certainly don't kill yourself in the proce process. Because there are a lot of human beings who would uh, risk a lot of things that they have no idea that they're risking for stupid reasons such as that. Now I'm not calling the people who did it idiots, I'm just saying what they did was idiotic. This isn't to say that I think that they're stupid, now unless they, unless there's more evidence that they continue to do stupid things, fine, just, that probably didn't sound right. Look. My point is, there are some things you should do and some things you shouldn't. Taking a selfie with a shark is one thing that you should not do. Because humanity should be better than that. Honestly, there's... I don't know some people wouldn't care. Because... Sharks... They do... Eat people, mostly. But not the baby ones, and the one he pulled was about to... Um, I don't know, if you put, put it in a circle, it could amount to the size of my torso. My whole torso. And uh, that's not very big. And that's still stupid. <laughs> if you want to take a selfie, like, that didn't sound right, hear me out. Um, anyways, that's pretty much all I have to say on that topic. Um, I think the general um, thing I'm trying to address here is don't take selfies, like, don't do stupid things and don't generalize people and without getting to know them. That's one of the reasons why I don't personally hate Donald Trump, like people like Donald Trump, or why I hold no negative feelings towards Justin Bieber or any one person unless I actually know the physical being. Like I've had some, I encountered some people who are dicks and bullies, I don't like them. Because I actually know who they are. I know their names, I know... I've known them since I've grown up, and... Most of those people I don't like. Granted, I don't hate, because honestly, it's a waste of time. To hate. Now, many... Like I said before, many of you may disagree with my opinions, but honestly, it's better that we get them solved down now before there's an issue on our hands. Because, um... Things like these, they destroy lives. They destroy other things. And, uh, you know, it's pointless to keep holding on to that rage because if we just hang on to it, we won't even know what we're angry about by the time... <laughs> we'll hardly know what we're angry about. In general. Like, uh... You know the Shakespearean play Romeo and Juliet? There are two families... Um, Montague and Capulet, they've been feuding for years, they had no idea, by the time they reached Romeo and Juliet, they had no idea what they were feuding about. And, you know, that's my point, you can't just hate people 
for a long time because there's no reason behind it and you know you start to think to yourself why are we doing this what's what's the reasoning behind it so yeah that's pretty much all i got thank you so much for watching i do hope you appreciated this video you can like you can comment you can share this video if you want you can subscribe to my channel or search my channel to find more videos like this and i'll try and get back to you with many some more or rather doing some more gameplays songs blogs things like that you know and uh that's pretty much all i got thank you so much this is jasper fox signing out